Oh, hello everybody. Hopefully I'm recording. I'm using a chesty cam because I've got an open face helmet on. So hopefully it uh, can record. I've just got a lav mic open to the wind. <laughs> anyway, look. <laughs> what a beautiful little machine. Yes, I've sold the CRF and bought one of these beauties. We'll stop over here in a minute and I'll give you a little look. Look out, dogs. So it's pretty much standard this bike apart from a few bits which I'll show you uh, well obviously I'll put I'll put that rack on down there in between the thing I've got a headlight rack and a headlight protector and this bar in the middle um, that's all I've done put a few mounts on here Put a USB in there. Uh, the only other thing I'm thinking of doing is putting some crash bars on it. I'll tell you for why in a minute or later. So I'm just running it in. But yeah, it's awesome fun got these crappy tyres on it, uh, IRC tyres, which everyone says, oh they're quite good, they're quite good, but they're not. <laughs> so eventually I'll be changing the tyres, but not quite yet. Brakes are a bit fuzzy, but they're not bedded in yet. This is a lot more fun than a CRF. Especially as what I'm planning to do is buy another one. <laughs> so one for me and one for Fon. And we're gonna do quite a bit of traveling, we decided. And we can either, we've got two options, ride it wherever we want to go, carry all our luggage on tour. Or, I can chuck the two of them in the back of a truck, my pickup truck, and we can drive kind of a long way up to Chiang Mai in the north park the truck up in a hotel or somewhere where they've got parking, secure parking, unload all the gear and off we go. So I'll give you a little walk round in a minute. not very fast, it's a uh, geared uh, quite low, it's not quite the same as a wave. I notice a lot of people, they do put different um, sprockets on, slightly smaller on the rear or one tooth up on the front. And that just gives them a little bit more speed on the road. But then obviously if you're going off-road um, you're losing some of your sort of hill power or hill climbing power but we'll see be a few things I'm going to do to it obviously and I can see this just being a lot of fun when it's run in and I've sorted him out, I think I'll be uh, 
having a lot of fun with these bikes. Me and having fun. Yeah, she's revving quite high. Um, oh, that's why. <laughs> I found another gear. <laughs> so she'll comfortably do 70. Engine's revving quite hard. But obviously this bike's not built for speed or highways. <laughs> I don't want dirty feet. I'm going for some food later on. <laughs> Yeah, there's no gear indicator on this, not that it really bothers me much. Um, let's just see what it's like for ground clearance. Okay, I can't quite flat foot it, but I'm, ne I'm nearly flat footed on both sides. Um, it's quite tall. It's not a problem. It's taller than a, a wave. Uh, what else? The seat actually is quite comfortable. I noticed some people change the seat. Obviously, I haven't done many miles on it yet, but it feels okay, the seat, so I won't be changing that. I think you can get a slightly lower seat because this seat's quite heavily padded, you know. It's a good four inches high. I think if you're short-legged and you're not very confident, uh, people put like a thinner seat on but I've, I've pressed these thinner seats and they're fucking horrible so anyway let's turn around here I don't want to fucking go down here wow good little turning circle it's very very light on the steering I've noticed a lot lighter than the wave I mean god you, you only have to just sort of like slight little body movement or pressure on the bar and well I don't, you don't want to be putting pressure on the bars I mean god <laughs> it's, it's really like we <laughs> just falls into corners just had enough of that oh, I'm looking for another gear <laughs> Yeah, so she's a bit flighty in the corners, very, very light. I don't know the specs of it, the lightness, but I mean, literally, it feels like a heavy bicycle. <laughs> it's fantastic. All the other thing I noticed as well, the foot, the foot pegs, the foot pegs down there, you can take the little rubber bits out the rubber inserts and you've got a nice metal spiky foot peg